I was actually interested in economics before I was interested in econometrics. I was really interested in some of the big questions that economics thinks about. The long-term causes of economic growth or economic inequality or the impacts of many different government programs. But as I got more into economics, I found I was really interested in thinking about the tools that we use to answer those big questions. My name is Isaiah Andrews and I'm an econometrician. Econometrics is the subfield of economics that develops new statistical tools. A lot of the big questions in economics are empirical. They're ultimately questions about the world, and so the best way we can answer them is by going to the data. But economists, in the course of doing empirical research, sometimes run into questions where the available tools either are unreliable for various reasons or where there just isn't even a tool that we know of to answer the question. My projects generally start with something that I don't understand. So that could be about the answers that people are getting. It could be about the methods people are using. And then generally sort of the next question is, would it be helpful if I answered this? My research touches on a wide variety of areas, and I've worked on settings where we're trying to do estimation, but the data contains relatively little information about the causal relationships that we're interested in. That's what's known as weak identification. More recently, I've been working on some questions thinking about decision-making with weak identification. So the relationship between two variables may be very, very hard to disentangle, but a policymaker still has to decide to do something. If we're uncertain about the returns to education, we still have to decide how much are we going to subsidize education through the tax system? How much is the government going to invest in education through public schools? How much are households going to invest in education through tutoring or private schooling or whatever? In some of these cases, there are decisions to be made even when identification is weak. Another area that I've worked on is publication bias. The idea is that some sorts of scientific findings are more exciting and more likely to be published than others. Think, for example, of job training programs. Imagine you've got 20 different research groups at different universities studying different job training programs. If the groups find that these job training programs are very effective, that research is more likely to be published than if they find that these programs don't do much of anything. Right, because if I have an empirical paper and I say, you know, I tried this job training program, it seemed like it would work, but it doesn't. That's a less exciting answer than I tried this job training program and it produced fantastic results. The difficulty with this is that it can make the published literature systematically misleading. So we try to address this issue. The first piece tries to identify the degree of publication bias. The second question is, how should that difference change our reading of the published literature? So given that this type of study is more likely to be published than that type of study, how should that change the way that I interpret this body of published studies that's out there? When we apply these methods to experimental research in economics, psychology, and some other applications as well, we find substantial evidence of publication bias. But we also find that accounting for that does not sort of invalidate the whole published literature. There are still plenty of findings in the published literature we can rely on even after taking into account that publication bias. A thing that really motivates me about my work is that the stakes in these questions are enormous. Long-term economic growth, development, inequality, recessions, these are really, really important questions. My work is really motivating for me because it reminds me of the value of making sure we have the best tools possible to answer them.